this lesson, we are going to be getting content from a Google Sheet, populating the calendar with the sheet data, and then using another script in order to select the calendar events and populating the calendar events into the Google spreadsheet. This lesson, we're going to be getting data from a sheet and populating that data into a calendar. So I've got a sheet set up with some data here where we've got an event, start, end, location, and description. So we're going to pick all of that information up and then update that information into the calendar. So we're doing this within a standalone script. So we're going to actually need to have the ID of the sheet object. So let's uh, select that first. And this is a sheet that we're trying to use. So select the ID of the sheet. And then within the function, so this is gonna be make events into the calendar. And we want to get the sheet data first. So selecting the sheet that we want to use, using the spreadsheet app, then open by ID and then we've got the ID value of the sheet that we're opening. And then get sheet by name. So we want to specify a specific sheet and it's CAL is going to be the sheet name. So this is just a string value. And that will select out the sheet. And then next we want to get the data from the sheet. And this will give us the array of the sheet data so that we can make use of it. So selecting the sheet object get data range that will select all the whole block of available data and then get values will allow us to select and create an array of the values and then the logger log of the data so we can output and we can see the data let's run the code and there's all of the data from the sheet so what we want to do is we want to select out the sheet data and slice out the content that we want to use and this is going to be all of the entries. So these are my events here that I want to slice out from the data. And using a JavaScript method slice, that's going to return back just the events. And then the headings are going to be contained within the data within the next value of zero. So let's update the logger and check out what we've got for events. So this should only be starting at day one and selecting that sheet content from the first day onward. So next thing that we want to do is we want to iterate through that content. So iterate through the events and we'll use a for each to iterate through and select the event. And we can also pick up the index value as well if we need to use it, it'll be there. And as we iterate through within the event, we want to get some of the details. So we're going to get the start content from the event. And that's going to be contained within the event using the index value. So as a value of one, because these are going to be array based name event. And this is coming from event zero is going to be the name and then end and we've got all of the different values there that we want to that we can use and then we've got location and description as well so let's uh, add those in so location is going to be three and then description is going to be four so just add those in so that we have those on the ready and as variables and you can also use the log just to make sure that we are logging that content properly. I'll just output the description. I'll get rid of the other log content. And when we run it, we should see that, that we're just outputting the descriptions. So next we want to add it into a calendar. So doing that, we're, we're gonna select our calendar that we wanna use. And this is using the calendar app service. And then they just select the default calendar there. And you can also specify by ID for the calendar if you want as well. Uh, so this is going to be picking up and we're since we're accessing a new 
object, we need to access the calendar contents and accept permissions for that, for the app to access the calendar. So that's selecting the calendar object, the default one. And once we've got the calendar object, we can then apply an event to it. So let's create that event object. And I'll just call it Eve using the calendar and create an event. And then we've got the parameters here where we've got the event name, which is going to be the first parameter there, event name of the event. And then we've got the start time, the end time. And then within an object format, this is where we can add in the location. So these are optional. You don't need a location, but because we do have the location within the spreadsheet, we'll add those in. And then there's also the description. And this is another optional one. And we do have that description value there. So let's add that in as well and save. So run the code. And as it's going through the calendar, it's adding those entries into the calendar there. So you can click it and you can see that it's set the calendar, it's set the description, it's set the location. So all of that is for data that's coming from the spreadsheet. So next, let's create a script and we're gonna update. So what we wanna do is we wanna select the default calendar just as we did before. And actually let's create a brand new sheet within our spreadsheet object. So we need to select our spreadsheet as well. We're gonna open the spreadsheet object by sheet. That's gonna be the spreadsheet object by its ID. And then we'll run through and log all of the calendar events into the spreadsheet. So first we need to get all of the events and we need to set a value. So starting value. So let's do a value for today. And this is just going to grab the parameters that we're setting. And this will just be the new date. So that creates a date object. And then what we want as the end date. So we need a start and an end. So actually let's uh, do this as start. And then the end will be a new date object. And we can get the start convert it to a time using the get time method which converts it to a time in milliseconds and then the amount of time that we want to add to it and this is also going to be in milliseconds so you can do a calculation by the amount of time that you want to add so if you want to select for the next so it's going to be 1000 milliseconds and 60 seconds into the milliseconds, 60 minutes. So that's gonna provide us the number of hours. It's 24 hours in a day. So that's gonna provide us the number of days. And whatever number of days that we wanna go ahead. So if we wanna do 100 days ahead, we just multiply it by 100. So that's gonna give us the calculation for the end value in milliseconds. So we've got the start and the end value. So now we just want to pick up all of the events. We'll pick this up as an object. So using the calendar app, we get the default calendar. So we've got that already. And this is where we can just specify the cal object. And then using the get events is going to return back all of the events. And then this is where we can enter in the parameters from start to end. It's going to return back an array events. You can see that within the logger. And let's uh, get the update calendar. So there's all of the events that we have. And those are the fi same five events that we just created. So we can loop through each one of those events. And as we iterate through, so we can update the spreadsheet. So we want to create a new sheet. We want to insert a sheet. So it's going to be a brand new sheet that we're inserting. So that creates the sheet object that we can use. Just update that. So create a brand new sheet with the insert sheet method. And then the first sheet, we can append a row. So this is gonna be whatever data that we want within an array. 
and whatever we want for the data. So let's uh, add these in as string values. So the first one will be name and then start and end. So that will create a new sheet, new event list. So create a new event list sheet. And actually also let's add in the location as we can get all of this information from the event object. So we can do a append sheet or we can just create a new array. So whatever works best. And then within here, we specify the event and then use the get title to get the title of the object. Event, we wanna get start time, get end, and actually that I need the event object get and time and then also we can get the location from new array and take the sheet and append a row with the new array item so now let's run that and we'll see what we get created so we've got the new event list and there's all of the sheet information we can also get the ID of the event. And that's also useful if you wanna select the element or the event by its ID. So I'm just erasing that one. And uh, there's also the event get ID. We'll return back the ID of the event. And then you can specify that using the ID, you can also make updates to the event so run that again, and there's our new event list. And these are the IDs that you can use. And you can specify these IDs and make updates to the event as well. So that's how you can use your Google Sheet data and access and select calendar. And then update the sheet with the calendar events and even select each event individually and get by their IDs.